be thankful for what we have. A corner house on a couple of acres in the small town of Farmersville is where you'll find a young man named Jaron McTee. Cerebral palsy has him trapped in a wheelchair. Thinking. But his mind. What's up? Is very much eighth grade wild and running free. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. With his eyes, he picks out words and images on his computer. I like you asking me questions. The question I had for his mom <laughs> was about the smiles they both still have. After a challenging first 14 years. God gave me him exactly how he wanted, and I just keep asking him for his guidance and support. And when you see that smile, it's it's easy to forget the, the other things. <laughs> and Jaron smiles for one other big reason. I'd like to remind everyone we do have our concession stand open for you. Go. Just done it all. He before. has a big time job. He's the team manager and water boy for the Farmersville Junior High football team. His wheelchair fitted with a water bottle holder. He's there in his jersey for every game. He's a special kid and, and our kids love him. Um, he's a friend to them all. I mean, he's, a, he's an inspiration every day for our kids. But there's one thing he can't do. He can't play the game he loves. He can only watch. Me, frustrated. He, he wants to be a part of, of all of it. He told me that he had a, his dream was to play football. Um, and he made that happen. It was a Thursday game against Community ISD. 25, Jaron McTee. They put him in at tailback. And with his big sister pushing the wheelchair, Jaron McTee was running free. I just wanted him to feel like he got a chance to, to, to shine. He shows up every single day and, and puts a smile on my face and, and the coaches and the kids. So. We thought it was the right time in a special place. With him and his sister out there together um, and her helping him and hearing the, the crowd cheer for him, it does make you um, really grateful to, to be in a community that will allow something like this to happen. Was it fun? Yes. I feel amazing. I was thinking they like me. Yes, Farmersville does very much like the young man and the life lessons offered by Jaron McTee. Well, we learn every day from him um, how when you are dealt a difficult hand, how to just keep going. So if you want to meet the star of the Farmersville eighth grade football team, that's what the coach is ribbing him for becoming now. Coach giving hard time. Stop by for a smile and a good joke or two. Why can't a leopard hide? Why can't a leopard hide? Because he always gets spotted. And then head to the football field to find the team manager turned running back. He's easy to find. Just look for the kid with the biggest smile. <laughs> Waiting for his chance to race to the goal line again. In Farmersville, I'm Kevin Reese.